Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Hey everyone, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. I'm glad you're in my kitchen. If we've never met, my name is Leslie and you are down on my farm with me in my house and in my kitchen. If you noticed yesterday's video, I made a shrimp dish as a side dish. Well, today the main course is going to be ribs. This is all one meal being put into two videos, but we're going to make our own barbecue sauce. Normally I use Sweet Baby Ray's and if I'm watching my carbs, I use the G Hughes brand. So we're going to make our own today. So let me gather everything I need. I'll meet you back right here. All right, so let me tell you, there is a secret to my ribs. Um, I have made ribs on here before and I have my own rub. I'll link the other videos where I've done ribs before. I'll link those down below, but there's still another secret about these ribs. You gotta stay tuned to the end of the video to find out what that secret is. So let's go ahead and get started here. All right, so I've got a cup of ketchup. We're gonna start with a cup of ketchup. I'm just gonna get this. It's not time to start my ribs yet, but um, I wanna go ahead and have my sauce made and cooled and ready. I'm just gonna heat it up to bring the flavors together. I'm not really gonna cook it. We're just mixing it together right here. And then I'm gonna heat it briefly just to kind of have everything melt together and so forth. Okay, so now we need about a fourth of a cup of vinegar. There we go. Now you can mince an onion if you would like. Um, you can use the dehydrated onions. And in fact, where I got this recipe from, I believe she did use dehydrated onions. <gasps> got something on me. I'm going to use onion powder and I'm going to use about a heaping tablespoon. All right, we're going to go with about a teaspoon of garlic or more, however, whatever your preference is. We're going in with a teaspoon of paprika and I'm using smoked paprika to give it that Good little taste. I don't know if that's ketchup or if it's just where water hit my shirt and turned it like that red color. <laughs> I don't know. We're gonna use about two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Gonna shake up the mustard because I don't want the liquid stuff squirting out the juice, the water. I'm gonna use about a tablespoon, whoops, about a tablespoon of mustard. Okay. And we're gonna add in um, a half a cup of brown sugar and we're going to put in some salt and I'm just going to kind of eyeball the salt. All right. So we're going to get this all mixed up together. Smells heavenly. I 
I've got my ribs sitting out over here. I've got to open them up and take the, um, that, what do you call it? It's not a film. Um, oh my goodness. It's like that sheath of over the fat on the back. I don't know what you call it, but anyway, um, I've got to take that off and, but people say that that's, there's a lot of collagen in there so that if you can chew on it, you're getting some collagen and stuff, but I don't prefer it. So I'll be pulling mine off. All right. I'm going to get this heating up and it'll be ready to go on our ribs in just a little bit, but I'll bring you back and uh, the main recipe for this video is this barbecue sauce. It's just a quick, easy throw together barbecue sauce, but we're going to see the end results of the ribs, the slaw, the, the shrimp from yesterday. Oh my goodness. And, um, because it, this is all one meal and we're also having jalapeno poppers. So I've laid out my cream cheese for that and I've got to clean up my mess here and we'll see you back in a little bit. Okay, everyone, I've got the ribs in the oven. I put my rub on them. I covered them tightly with tin foil. Uh, remember, I'll try to link that video down below with my uh, rub and everything. And don't forget to stay tuned. There's a secret about my ribs today. So, I'm just going to check to see if they're tender enough um, to sauce. I bake mine on about 275 for usually four hours. Uh, but these, this pack rack of ribs, I, I felt looked smaller than the ones I've used in the past. So we're right at the three hour mark. All right, there they are. And I always like to um, take a bone. Yep, the bone's gonna pull right out. I don't, I'm not pulling it out, but it, it will. So these babies are ready to be sauced. They already smell amazing. So let me tell you, if you don't want to sauce yours, this rub, is perfect enough you can just use it on this just put this back in there brown it a little bit and it's perfect if you want just just the seasoning of the rub but i'm going to put a little bit of um, my barbecue sauce that we made earlier um, i am notorious about putting way too much on the rib so we're going to try not to put too much and look who just walked in he's back from his trip today. Hey, 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 everybody. What you tell them? Well, we're just saucing our ribs with our sauce. Mm -hmm. look, and it's going to go under a broiler just to, we, I like to caramelize the sauce and let it get good and tasty and brown. And I will jar up the leftover sauce and we'll keep it because anytime I do a pork roast or anything, we can have this as dipping sauce. Does that look good or you want more? Put more. Put more. I'm trying to go light because usually I'm very heavy handed on the sauce. To me, you can't have too much sauce. At one time I had gracious plenty. How's that? All right, so we're going to go back in under a broil and just darken it up and see the bone I tried to, that just pulled right out there. So, yep. Good tender. Mm hmm. Oh. Look. <laughs> mm. Look at that. I haven't turned it to broil yet. All right, it's ready. All right, we'll see you back in just a little bit. Well, everybody, it's time to eat. Here is my portion of the ribs. Brian's got about an equal portion, and there's still another third left. So in case Isaac shows up, 
We've got the shrimp here, our slaw, and some jalapeno poppers. I say that's a pretty healthy looking plate. I mean, full looking plate. What do you think? Looks really good. Have you tried anything? Oh yeah. Have you? Yep. What have you tried? Uh, the jalapeno poppers and the ribs. What about the shrimp? And the shrimp. Okay, the shrimp was yesterday's video. So I told them if they wanted to know what you thought, they had to come back today to see what you thought of the shrimp. The shrimp is two thumbs up. <laughs> it is excellent. Great. I, I love anything shrimp, and this was a excellent, excellent mm. meal. So good. He just said there was only one problem. There wasn't enough shrimp. Yeah. Or they could be just a little bigger. Or bigger, yeah. Um, we got medium, right? Mm hmm That's all they had. That's all the grocery store Yeah. Had. I told them I, I was wanting raw, but it actually worked out good. So, yeah. um, what about the ribs? What are your thoughts on the ribs? Ribs are excellent. Um, what about little, that sauce on top? A little different sauce than what you have made in the past, right? Well, I've never made barbecue sauce to go on our ribs. I always use Sweet Baby Ray's. Mm -hmm. And so it is excellent. Really good, flavorful. Really, really good. All right. Have you tasted the slaw yet? I have tasted the slaw. What do you think of that? Good and crispy. Did you use artificial sweetener or regular sugar? Well, just tell me how you like it. No, it's great. I've already had it. Okay. And the jalapeno poppers. I'd say that's my favorite. It's his favorite. Okay. Well, he kind of let the cat out of the bag. But the secret I was telling you about there's, this meal. There's a secret? There's a secret about this meal is it's a low carb meal. Even the sauce for our ribs, um, you can make this and it not be low carb. You can make it just like I made it with, just like I made it. The only thing I did different was I used no sugar ketchup and I used, um, Swerve brown sugar. That was it. And uh, I also used Swerve regular sugar in the slaw. Of course, the shrimp dish is just low carb anyway. There's nothing in there with carbs much. And um, the jalapenos are very low carb. So I can eat this meal, this whole plate, and not feel guilty. You guys have recently asked for a lot of low carb recipes. You've been inundating the comments morning. Since we mentioned that we're trying to eat a little healthier, you guys had asked for it. So she just thought she'd take the time tonight and do this. Listen, did you do the, the jalapeno poppers step by step for them? I did not. But I have another video on it. Are uh, they really good? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't because the, the, the peppers that she has this time are really large peppers. So I don't know if that because they're meatier. It's mm -hmm. more flesh on the Y'all might can hear me chewing. Hang on. Yeah, lay it down right there. There you go. Sorry and, if you and, did. And maybe because the, the peppers have more flesh, but I don't know these right here are off the hook good. Mm -hmm. I think everything, everything is delicious. We have been eating a lot of meat, and we were really getting, believe it or not, we were getting kind of tired of steak <laughs> and chicken. ground beef and chicken. And so this was just something, and, and it's, there's a variety here. Although the shrimp was not intended to be part of this meal, it actually worked out great. We have our own little surf and turf here. Well. So um, this is so good. Y'all, that sauce is delicious. Mm -hmm. I can't tell that it's no, low carb. No, it's great. So, all right, guys. We're going to get off of here and eat so you don't have to hear us chew. We'll be back in a little bit. So we finished up supper and we decided we would come fishing and the pond is overflowing and it's grown up. And um, this is on some of my family's land, distant family land. So um, we're gonna try to do a little bit of fishing out here. It's gonna be a little difficult, but the boys are excited. They found a beaver dam they're working hard to deconstruct the beaver dam. And Judah caught the first one. I don't know if you can see it, it's swinging. There it is. He touched it. He touched it. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs>
We got Levi practicing self-defense. Self He's fighting a tree. Kung Fu Panda. Kung Fu Panda. Well, y'all, I'm going to end this video here. It was a delicious, delicious supper. We had a great time fishing with the boys, although the only person who caught anything was Judah, and actually, Papaw caught it. But, you know, we let Judah reel it in. And um, it was miserable. The bugs were eating us alive, and um, the pond had grown up really bad, so I don't know how much longer we'll be able to fish there. So, um, and it's covered in lily pads. So yeah, it was, it's, um, yeah, we're kind of disappointed. So we're going to have to find us a new fishing spot. Um, but yeah, we, um, it's, it was a great meal. I mean, I had had the two shakes all day and a little snack. I had a slice of Tillamook cheese and some of the little bitty petite pickles. Um, and that's all I had had all day. So I was ready for that big meal, but it was absolutely, absolutely delicious. And so you've got to try it. You can make it regular or you can make it low carb, however you want to. You just use for the ketchup. If you're making it low carb, use no sugar added ketchup or the G Hughes or whatever flavor of your favorite ketchup that you use on a no low carb diet. And for the brown sugar, I just substituted the Swerve brown sugar. Everything's the exact same if you do a regular recipe. You just use regular ketchup and regular brown sugar. So it's a win-win situation no matter which way you go. So, all right. Thank you guys so much for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. We love you guys so very much. And I will see you Thursday. Yeah, I'll see you Thursday. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.